uh, senior lecturer at the Federal University of Lafia Nasara State, Dr. Fred Ayokai, alongside his children on Friday, brutalized a 20-year-old girl, Blessing Matthias, who allegedly fought his daughter over a man. Mm. On the show today, we'll be discussing the aftermath of these fisticuffs, um, the unthinkable that unfolded, and how a whole family got dragged into this humiliation. What are your thoughts on this? I saw the video of the girl being beaten, as in, this one passed beaten. So I wanted to know what happened. We kept following, and then I saw a video of the girl herself that was being beaten, slapping the daughter. Do not be talk with the talk. Why you they shout? When you say you they shout, you, if you raise your voice for me, you expect my dear answer you. No, you saw things. No, you saw that they do. Answer things. my question. Where did I know that you have some questions? Calm down, ask me questions. Sit there, will they mad? I know they mad. I don't right. I answer my question. Where did I know that you do? I don't understand. Ask your husband or what? I don't understand. It's not true. You know I do. I'm asking you. It's not true. You know I do. If I do, what will you do? You know of the um, lecturer and you know rushing her beating her over a man the girl beat up his daughter in that video yeah. two girls fighting but although that one didn't um, respond and that was enough for the man to say take it to court they had the video evidence but the lecturer showed that lecturer of conflict resolution and something something <laughs> go shock you you know now carry his conflict Only african way <laughs> by summoning the boys of the family all of them enter moto go there yeah they beat that girl beyond because she, they met, they barged into her room. She was half naked. Oh, they entered her own space. Her own yeah. space. She was trying to put on clothes. They did not wait. They did not give her privacy to come outside to address the issue. They were in her room, and the brothers were slapping her into the, um, the by, um, burglary bars. They said the head, I know they did house, maybe picking head bed. But this mm. one, he now he bent the head as he, he, he disgraced himself. Oh, God. And I think that even Asu should be ashamed on his behalf. Yeah. The NUC should act on this. They should take it beyond the, uh, the proportion. He must finish the show. Yeah. He he it, it could have started as two girls fighting over a boy, but it went beyond that into brutality and human rights abuse, yeah. assault, when adults, who should know better, decided mm -hmm. to take laws into their hands and implemented jungle justice. There was even no justice in that situation. Yes. The justice would have been for them to pursue the rule of law. What they did was beyond reprehensible, and I think it is important we talk about it because some people still feel like, and I told him how upset. Many of us, we do these things more small. <clears throat> my son was bullied. My son now insulted the bully back a year after. The bully cried and reported to the school. My son wore bully jackets. The school has a jacket they, they, wear, you, they wear. If you have, if you do anything, everybody in the school will know, mm -hmm. and you wear it all around the school that day, and they will make you go around the school. Mm -hmm. So the entire school knew. This boy did something wrong. Oh. I was very, very sad. And then I now confronted my son, and the twin brother said, this girl was the one that was saying this, 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 this last year, and we reported to you. And you didn't do anything. And I didn't do anything. So what happened was, the assumption was, ah, why didn't you, why, um, him insulting back was normal. No, we need to learn to, and I told him, I said, you should have reported to the school authorities, because now you insulted her back, and she reported. When you don't, when you take laws into your hand, things can get out of, yeah. uh, it will go out of proportion. There was no justification for that beating. There was no justification for the video being recorded. Uh -huh. If they are just follow the rule of law, don't wallow and feel like I am being victimized here. The girl felt victimized. She went to tell her, her father. Her father felt, let me go and support my mm. daughter. Yeah, and right. You are going to end up in prison. Mm. It's a very messy fight because very. I don't know why they will bring boyfriend and girlfriend gist and break up and fight to me as a parent. And then I will back out, hey, carry my bag, call my sister. So yeah, Nima, join me. Top, hey, let's go. Hey, let's go and let's fight. Go defend. Yeah, go ahead, I would ask you why you are in the university in the first place. That's the first question. Mm. You are there to study. Why are you fighting over a man? F to get to a point where you fight over a man is because you've lost respect for yourself. If the man that you are dating decides to follow somebody else, let him go. That means he doesn't deserve you. Why? I, that, that's even the first thing that I would handle. Why would I go find myself in a position where I am fighting mm. for my child because she got into a fist fight with another man? That's so disrespectful. And this man, this lecturer, I believe, must be punished for this. Because you are a lecturer. You are supposed to be knowledgeable. You know You're better. supposed to what, know what? better. You're supposed to be at least above board, even if you have bad character. With all your studies, is it not supposed to be changing somewhat? You should have a conversation, even if you want to get involved in this. You already have a video evidence that your daughter was beaten. Take it to the proper authorities.